In celebration of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, tonight we are sharing the story of a survivor who has made it her mission to help others who are battling the disease. And she's doing it with her mop and her broom. Here's our Erin Jones. At just 24 years old, Nicole Akers was diagnosed with stage three breast cancer. It was very shocking and surprising for me. At the time, I didn't really necessarily felt like, you know, why me? Um, it was more of a kind of why now? My husband and I um, had actually just been engaged a week. In a week's time, she went from making wedding plans to planning her fight against cancer. She went through a mastectomy, chemotherapy, and radiation before being told there's no evidence of cancer. It was tough, but I was extremely fortunate. I had an incredible you know, support system, uh, which made all the difference in the world. She was able to get married and later opened a residential cleaning business with her husband. And we were just looking at something to invest in that we could be part of long term, you know, that we could have an impact not only in the communities that we were in, but also with our employees. They partnered with the nonprofit Cleaning for a Reason. And we offer free home cleaning services to women who are battling breast cancer. It was really a no-brainer for my husband and I after what, you know, we had been through. It's always that we're coming in and we're able to take something off the to-do list for people. But it's not just about providing these services. She says it's also about offering emotional support. I found when I was going through it, people really don't know exactly how to react um, or what to say. And there isn't really a lot necessarily besides just being there and listening that people can really do. Um, so this feels good that we do have something that that we can do for somebody that might make, you know, some small difference. In Dallas, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News. And if you know anyone who could maybe use this help, we have more information. It's on our website at cbsdfw.com. We'll be back in just a moment.